Hey everyone, just wanted to do a quick video, give you an update for today. It's March 1st. Um, we've had a lot of earthquakes today, actually. Uh, we felt a few big ones in the afternoon, and apparently there was one uh, throughout the night and in the morning that uh, didn't wake me up, thankfully. But the one this evening, or around you know 4.30, uh, was magnitude of 5.1, and it seems like they're not really slowing down. So I just wanted to give you an update with some of the news that's coming out, keep everyone up to date. Uh, everyone liked the last video, you know, just sort of introducing it. A lot has happened <laughs> within 24 hours. So that's why I wanted to get this video out uh, as we're right away. So you can see here on the news, uh, it's 5.1 earthquake that uh, that happened at around 4, 4.35 today. Uh, and it's the same area, the Reykjanes Peninsula. So what they're saying now is that there's a very good chance that magma is forming and that there is going to be some kind of eruption. And you can see here, they did a, a thermal camera of the area and uh, it's it's showing the amount of activity that's going on in this in this area here. And now Keflavik Airport is in this area here and Reykjavik is up in this top right corner here. So this eruption is basically right where the Blue Lagoon is which is, uh, is not gonna be good. And if you watch the video that I posted yesterday, there was some reports and some simulations that the University of Iceland did that showed exactly where the lava was gonna go. And it was actually going to flow towards this main road here that connects the airport in Reykjavik. And they were saying that that's a big concern. I mean, it's good for the people of Grindavik and, and some of these other towns that, that it's not gonna flow towards them. Uh, but if the lava is flowing across, that could cut off Reykjavik from the airport. Now, there is a way to get to the airport, of course, without going through this road, and you would have to go uh, basically around the entire volcano, the eruption, I guess, uh, go around the eruption and through Grindavik and up to the airport here, depending on where the lava is going. So, I mean, this is all the news that's coming in. They're saying magma is likely to form. And if we scroll down, you know, you can go through and you can read some of these news sites. But they're saying that all of this movement underneath and from the satellite images that they're showing is that, yeah, it's a, it's a really good chance that things are intensifying and that some sort of eruption might occur. So if we take a look at the map again for today, we can see still a huge amount of eruptions. Now this is covering some of the stuff that we looked at yesterday with the numbers, but you can see, you know, it is still concentrated in this area. Again, Reykjavik is right here in this purple and the airport is right here. So this is straight right in, in the center between the two and Grindavik is right here down below, which is very, very close to where all of these earthquakes are happening. Now, an important thing when you're looking at this is you can see here on the legend is some of these dots. I mean, they're lower, lower earthquake magnitudes, uh, but the stars is everything that's over three. And you can see there's quite a few of them that have happened over the last 48 hours. If we look at the table, again, this is covering some of the stuff that we looked at yesterday, but over the last 48 hours, we have uh, 1,800, over 1,800 and quite a few that are over a magnitude of three. And you can go on on this site, it's Vedder Pointeris. Uh, so it's V-E-D-U-R dot I-S. And they have an English section, so that's perfectly for you, for all those people that don't speak Icelandic or read it. But you can take a look and you can see what date and time and the magnitude that is happening. And when there is one that's over three, they do bold it. So you can see exactly what's going on there, where it happened and so forth. Uh, so if we scroll down, you know, we can see there's a lot of earthquakes. Most of them are small tremors, but there are a few that are over three that are worth noting. Now, what they have done, which is, is really, I think, a great thing, because a lot of people are excited to some degree. I mean, there's obviously a lot of worry about an eruption of whatever magnitude, uh, but it is kind of exciting to be living in a country where there could be hopefully uh, a very safe level of, of an eruption, if you can, if you can say that. Uh, but they have installed a live stream 
of Ketplit in case that there is an eruption so that if you aren't in Iceland or even if you're in Iceland and you want to just sort of check out this stream every once in a while, you can click on this and, and take a look. So you can see here, it's just, uh, yeah, just a live stream of, of what's going on. Now, this one here is uh, not quite live. It was live. So I, I'll post the link for for everyone to take a look at where to actually find this. Um, but you can you can see here, you know, it's getting dark. Uh, right now it's, it's nighttime, so it doesn't really help unless I guess there is some sort of really big eruption, then, then that would be something. So if we're scrolling down here on this page, again, you know, there's a lot of news. Some of the earthquakes are 5.7. They're saying now that they could go up to over 6, 6.5 even, which is, is, quite, is quite big. Now, these aren't linear numbers. So, you know, from 5.7 to 6 is not the same as, say, from 5.3 to 5.7. The higher you know increments you go, the more intensified the actual earthquake is. So to go even from 5.7 to 6 would be quite quite devastating, I think. And then a 6.5 that could cause some serious damage towards buildings and, and infrastructure, which is a big a big thing. So just wanted to get all of this information out to you guys right away. I know a lot of people are are interested in this and sort of worried. If you're in Iceland, you're worried, especially if you're in the Grindavik area, seeing how things are going to going to go. Uh, perhaps this is going to kickstart tourism if you want to come and uh, see the eruption. Now, I did read on one news article that they are not sure if it erupts, how long that could go for. I mean, there are some eruptions where the lava just flows for weeks. It could be months. And, and that's a big concern because especially if it's going over the road that connects Reykjavik to the international airport in Keflavik, it's it's going to be it's going to be an issue, sort of getting. I mean, even small things like you know the COVID vaccines that's coming in, or just general cargo, passengers, you know, visitors to the country, whatever. Uh, it's a it's a very important road that we have there. So hopefully, it uh, is a very minimal amount of magma. If there are lava, if it does erupt. Hopefully it doesn't, you know, destroy this infrastructure of this road and, and causing a huge delay in trying to figure out what to do. So again, just wanted to let you all know what's going on. Uh, I'm going to keep an eye on everything. Obviously, you know, we've I've had a bunch of shakes today and uh, who knows, maybe I'll post a video tomorrow if, if there's been some big developments like there has been today. Uh, and if not, you know, just click subscribe and, and that way you'll be up to date with what's going on. Leave a comment if you have any more information. You know, I got a lot of this stuff. I was just sitting around and, and noticed someone commented that that there is very much a likelihood that there is magma forming. Uh, so thank you to, to the person that commented on that. Really appreciate all the input that I'm getting in and uh, and all the support. So if you like this, hit subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment if you have any questions or if you have any news. You know, I, I want to keep up to date. And uh, yeah. Hope you enjoy this. Thanks.